So for the following problems, we're going to focus on solving for the indicated variable. So for example, a and b that we have here, we're given an equation and we're asked to solve for a specific variable. So if we take a look at a, we have a is equal to pi r squared h, and they want us to solve this equation for r. So essentially, they want this equation rewritten. They don't want it a equals so-and-so. They want it written r equals so-and-so. So when I take a look at these problems, I really just think about a big rearranging problems. We're moving pieces around in the equations to make it look the way that they want. So they want this to read r equals so, so and so, right? So that means that we need to solve this equation for r, which means we need to get rid of everything else. So we need to go back and remember our solving equation rules. When we're solving an equation for a specified variable and we're getting rid of everything else, we typically just do the opposite calculation of what we have there. And what I mean by that, so if we're trying to solve for r, that means we need to get rid of pi and we need to get rid of h. Now pi and h are getting multiplied to r. The opposite of multiplication is division. So if I want to get rid of pi and h, I need to divide by it. Remembering that what I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi and h. So that when I do that, on the right hand side of my equation, pi cancels with pi, h cancels with h, leaving me with r squared. On the left hand side, we had a, we divided it by pi h. Now we have no idea what a is. We do know what pi is, but Without knowing what A is or what H is, there's not really anything that we can do here. So we literally just drop it down, A over pi H. Now we're almost done solving for R, actually. We have R squared. Now to get rid of the square, an opposite of a square is a square root. So I'm going to take the square root of the right side, which also means I need to take the square root of the left side. Again, what you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So on the right hand side, square and a square root cancel, leaving me with r. On the left hand side, I have the square root of a divided by the square root of pi h. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quotient rule for radicals and split this up and say this is the square root of a over the square root of pi h. Now, we would almost be done with this problem, except for the fact that when it comes to radicals, we do not want radicals to be in the denominator of our fraction. It is not considered simplified. So the fact that we have this radical down here in the denominator means that we are not finished. The way that you get rid of the radical in the denominator is by multiplying both numerator and denominator by whatever that radical is. So since we have the square root of pi h in the denominator, we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of pi h. This is called rationalizing the denominator. And once we wrap this up, we will have our final answer here. So in our numerator, so let's see what we have going on here. We have the square root of a. We're now multiplying it times the square root of pi h. Since it's all just square root, we can combine those all together into one and say this is the square root of a pi h. Literally just combine all of that together. In the denominator, we have the square root of pi h times the square root of pi h. Uh, there is a rule that says if you take the square root of the same thing, square root of a times square root of a is just equal to a. It's equal to what's underneath. So the square root of pi h times the square root of pi h is just pi h. And that actually wraps up that problem. That means that r is equal to the square root of a pi h over pi h. So that's the form of the equation that they want. Let's take a look at our next problem. For our next example, we have kw squared minus cw is equal to r. And they want us to solve this for w. Now, if I'm looking at w, I have a w squared here and a w there. So we need to get this equation to where it reads w is equal to so-and-so. Now, uh, taking a look at this problem here, the only way to really do this is to use the quadratic uh, formula, unfortunately. So the quadratic formula is this one here. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of 
b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're going to have to plug into this formula to get this solved. Now remember that when we plug into this formula, we first need to know what a, b, and c are in order to plug appropriately into the equation. Now a, b, and c come from our quadratic equation. a is the coefficient of the x squared term, b is the coefficient of your x to the first power term, and c is our constant. Now before we can label a, b, and c, we do need to make sure that our equation is in proper form by making sure that everything's over on one side of our equation and it's set equal to zero. Right now it's not set equal to zero, but it could easily get set equal to zero by taking this r and moving it over to the other side. Since it's a positive r, I am going to subtract this r on the other side, making this kw squared minus cw minus r is equal to zero. Now we're ready to label what is a, b, and c. Okay. So a is going to be k. k is the coefficient of our squared term. b is going to be negative c. That's what's in front of our w. And c, our constant is back over here, is going to be a negative r. So when we plug this into our quadratic formula here, we have negative b, negative, and then b is negative 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's negative c squared, minus 4 times a, which is k, times c, which is negative r. And that's all over 2a, or 2k. Simplifying further here, negative negative c, that is double negative rule, that cancels out to a c, plus or minus the square root of negative c squared, well negative c times negative c is just c squared, and when we take care of this multiplication over here, this negative times this negative makes that positive. Otherwise, 4 times k times r is just 4 times k times r. Remember, we have no idea what any of this is actually equal to, so there's only certain things we can simplify. And this is going to be all over 2k. And actually, for this problem, we are done. This is all that we can do. That means that w is equal to c plus or minus the square root of c squared plus 4kr all over 2k. Otherwise, that's it for this video.